Hello guys, in front of me here is the Mate 30 Pro. You might have heard that you cannot use this phone without the Google services. Uh, and I will show you guys that's not true. And the apps that I have on this phone, like the Google apps, I can use Chrome and uh, browse any page uh, that I like. I can also use Translate. I use Google Maps to go wherever I like. For example, let's say um, to buy Marina Mall. Click on directions. As you can see, it's working. And then we can use YouTube from the web. We can create a shortcut. I will show you guys later how to do that. And just view YouTube just fine. Uh, same with Gmail. Create a web shortcut and you can access Gmail. Um, same for social apps. I have here Facebook. I can use Facebook to browse it, add some friends. WhatsApp, um, maybe start conversation with my friend here. Instagram, to check my friend's pictures. And this is Messenger if I want to start conversation with my friends from Facebook. TikTok, as you guys can see, download the app and it's going just fine. Twitter here. And uh, the other apps like Totok, Skype, Potim, WeChat, Telegram, IMO, it's uh, all uh, right in front of you here, guys. Uh, now, if you want to go for some shopping, you're staying at home and you don't want to go outside, you can still use Amazon, as you can see. Just click on it. You see any deal that you like, click on it. Noon. Let's say we click on any item. Same for Jolly Chick. Now you guys might run into this notification. Um, don't uh, bother with it. Just click OK and you can still proceed to use the app. Uh, same for Four Deals, AliExpress, uh, Nemshi, and Shein. I also have Microsoft Office uh, applications here, like Word. It's just that I don't have any <laughs> Word files, actually. But I'm just uh, showing you guys that these apps are here. Same for PowerPoint, Excel. OneDrive, OneNote. You can still proceed for search or create new and OneDrive. Now you might want to use some lifestyle apps here like to book tickets, let's go to Novo. Um, Novo to buy any tickets for the movies. And uh, you can use Vox Cinemas, exactly. You can see guys working. Um, Real Cinemas, you can click on, for example, a specific cinema and view uh, anything that you like, book the tickets of your favorite movies. Of course, you can use uh, Zomato Entertainer and Emirates Auction if you like. Now let's go to in some other entertainment applications like Spotify to listen to music. Um, I just didn't log in here to my account. Um, VLC to view any video that you have or some audio. Stars Play. Um, same for share it. Um, same for uh, other applications that you guys can see here. If you, even if you want to play games like Candy Crush, just press on it. Press play and you can proceed with Candy Crushing. Um, for travel applications, TripAdvisor is here. Just for example, Chiang Mai or go wherever you like, or use WeGo, Air Arabia, and other applications you guys see here like Trip.com, Booking.com, Emirates, and Waze. Uh, let's go to some local apps that we often use here in the Emirates, like Diwa. If you want to pay your bills, don't want to lose electricity at home. <laughs> Dubai now. 
can just log in and use normally my it's a lot um, now these are third-party apps that you can use to view YouTube as well uh, aside from the web version that I showed you earlier you can download third-party apps like new pipe and just view YouTube as if you had an app same with TubeMate and of course you can go and download other third-party apps that you might prefer you also have some other applications like Al Quran Karim yeah I like the full view display yeah see the screen is amazing as well you can use Al Quran if you want to hear it listen to it um, Wikipedia app and other applications as you can see like Opera um, the Cam scanner Aptoid and APK Pure now these two apps are like stores um, to download uh, your applications aside from the Play Store that it's not on this phone okay guys now it's time for me to tell you how to get your apps downloaded on the Mate 30 Pro now the first way and the best way is the app gallery here so you go to the app gallery it will be already installed on the Mate 30 Pro as you can see it's divided by feature categories top manager and me um, of course manage here to manage and update your apps now let's go and uh, download something like IMO for example we click install and as you guys can see it's being downloaded here click on it and uh, you're free to go with the app now the other way to download apps is using third-party stores like the Aptoid, APK Pure and Up to Down app. Now let's click on Aptoid and download something. Let's say Emirates and click install. okay now the app is downloaded just give it the permission allow here click install and the Emirates app is ready to go hello guys um, here in front of me again the beast the Mate 30 Pro uh, I'll show you guys how to get YouTube and Gmail first um, for YouTube you can create a shortcut from Google Chrome or your browser just click on YouTube you can uh, log in here to your account after that click on add to home screen and click add and you will be able to create a shortcut as you guys can see here click on it and you will be able to view YouTube as if you had the app still all your library or history is all here of the videos you have watched on this account now the other way is what I told you guys earlier downloading third-party apps like new pipe the fun thing about new pipe guys is that you can click download and actually download the video that you like as you guys can see it's being downloaded right here once the video is done click on it and you can view it once you download it and you are ready with it now the other app is TubeMate it's in, um, you can sign in here to your account and view YouTube and you can still view it without signing it's up to you actually now for Gmail the best way guys is to go to the Huawei email app click on Gmail and click on your email enter your account and your password and you will be able to use the email Huawei email app with your Gmail information and your Gmail and create message view the emails the second way is the same way that I told you guys earlier is creating the web version as you guys can see here the same method we go to Chrome uh, enter our data and create a shortcut and be able to view Gmail 
Now, for some apps that cannot be downloaded, we can, the same method, create a shortcut. Like, for example, Talabat, Uber, Do. We can create a shortcut from the web, and the experience is the same with the app. Just if you want to find some restaurants. For Uber, it's the same look as if we had the app, actually. Even the presentation looks like we have the app on the phone. Let's go here, for example. It will show us the cars, and we can proceed with uh, ordering the car. And for Do, it's uh, the same. Hello, guys. So this is the Mate 30 Pro right here in front of you. Guys, this is not just a good phone. It's a great phone, all in all. It has all the apps that I use daily. Um, as I showed you guys, we have the Google Apps. Earlier, I demonstrated for you how to create the shortcuts for YouTube uh, and the same for Gmail. Uh, I'll also now tell you about the maps. You can create the same um, shortcut as I demonstrated earlier. You log into your account and you can uh, see the safe data, like for example, your favorite places, your workplace. Um, earlier in the app here, you cannot actually do that. Find the location and use it normally through web or through the app. Um, of course, for the social media apps, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, Messenger, TikTok, Twitter, Totok, Skype, Botim, WeChat, Telegram, um, the shopping apps that you might want to use on daily basis like Amazon, Noon, Jolly Chick, For Deal, AliExpress, uh, Namshi, Shein, and other apps. Guys, this is not uh, all of them. I'm just mentioning some of them actually. And the Microsoft Office applications, uh, if you want to write that email, you want to send some document, you can use them. Same for the lifestyle apps, uh, entertainment apps, uh, traveling apps, the local apps we often use here in the Emirates. So all in all, all these apps are working fine. Now there are some apps that are not working at the moment, like Netflix, um, Snapchat, and Google Pay. So I'm not sure about the future if there will be a solution for these apps. Um, for Twitter, you cannot find the location automatically if you want to send a tweet, but you can still find it and search for it and tag it in your tweet. Now for WhatsApp, you cannot back up your uh, chat history or retrieve it, so um, I want to highlight that thing for you guys to know. And um, for other applications, uh, you might download them from the app gallery or the third-party apps here I showed you guys earlier, like Aptoid, APK Pure, or use the app gallery here uh, that comes with the phone. Uh, some applications might have the pop-up that's telling you oh, it's not working. You just press OK, and you are free to proceed with, this uh, with the application. So all in all, guys, this is a great phone. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you next time.